your representative, Lauren Brobert, getting frisky. Have you ever been, have you ever gotten a movie theater uh, hand job or a Broadway I've theater the, hand job the, or a blow job? I mean, it's going to get, uh, the first time I ever touched a woman's pubic hair was, was during Batman and Robin when it was in theaters. In Aurora, so, Colorado? In Aurora at the Seven Hills Movie Theater. Jesus. With the girl I was dating, but this is how stupid I was. Most of the time you go in through the top of the pants. Of course. It was the summer. I went up the leg like a true wow. 13-year-old boy. Interesting. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing, and then I remember that was the first time I ever touched someone else's pubic hair, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> you know? in, the, in the theater through in the, the th- leg. In the theater through the leg. Completely blew it. Probably could have gotten a lot more had I entered properly. Was she like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. She yeah. cheated on me that summer with two other guys who both, like, knew what they were doing. So Jesus Christ. That was one of those things where you're like, I fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up. But seeing Lauren Boebert do that, you're like, oh, that's a clear you just got divorced move. Because you know what's funny about watching, like, elected officials is, like, George Santos is from Long Island. He just lies. So you know we're all liars. So you know what kind of what kind of lie he's going to come <laughs> Absolutely. with. Absolutely. And I know Lauren Boebert's coming from the Western Front, yeah. the other side of the mountains, <laughs> yeah. where it's like Garfield County. You yeah. know, where you're like, sure, there's Aspen, yeah, but then there's also Glenwood Springs, right. and there's like it's it's not all Aspen and Carbondale. No, it's a lot of like small little towns where they're like they shoot guns in order to show right. joy. They show that they're happy. Yeah. And she was going in. I mean, she's giving him kind of it looks like she's going in. She she's is, going in. My favorite part about all of this. <laughs> my favorite yeah. part about all of this is when you find out it's a first date. Right. Because that's third date. <laughs> totally fine. That's a great point. The first date you're like, she got into it. Yeah. That means because this is the show. Yeah. So they they clearly got drinks, probably went to dinner. Right. And then headed down to the Buell Performing Arts Center. Right. They were probably, you know, in Lodo, downtown, probably right. had a little. And then they go, and <laughs> she's just ripped. She's hammered. She's ripping a vape. Yeah. A pregnant lady asks her to stop. She's like, shut up, bitch. Right. And then he's just fondling those tits. Because he knows, he's like, if I get her liquored up and we go to Beetlejuice the Musical, there's no way. <laughs> Nothing gets this girl hotter <laughs> right. than a Michael Keaton vehicle. Yeah, she where likes. she's not even in it anymore. Yeah. Beetlejuice the Musical yeah. is just going to get her in the right frame of mind. Unfortunately, Mr. Mom doesn't. Mr. Mom the Musical doesn't <laughs> yeah. open for five that months. That does not work. I could take her to Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, and my dick's coming out. There's got to be... Yeah. Not the people next to them, but the people on the opposite side of the aisle just being like, is that woman grabbing that dude's dick? What's funny is, apart from it being Lauren Boebert, there's definitely just people in the theater going like, who's this yeah. piece of shit? Yeah, and the reveal. The reveal that it's your representative. You know, remember back in the, when they when they did commercials for movies where they would do the audience reaction as they left, where they were like, best time of the summer. <laughs> yeah. If they would have taken those people and been like, did you know that was Lauren Boebert? They would have been like, holy shit. <laughs> like if they would have grabbed that blast radius yeah. of who she was around. Yeah, it's just people being like, we had no idea there was a whorehouse <laughs> operating at Beetlejuice the musical. I don't know. She must have walked from Colfax. <laughs> it, was, it was incredible because you know that no one knew until the news. That's right. Ex- maybe even a couple people at the theater maybe knew. Right. But most of those people around her are like, who is this slut yeah. in this dress? Just a drunk person acting inappropriately in public, which is not rare. Now, if I could have informed them. Yeah. Informing them that it was Lauren Boebert probably would have been about third on the list. Yeah. Because what I first would have done was gone, now that woman's 36. Right. And they go, okay. And I'd go, she's a grandma. And they go, okay. <laughs> and then you go, it's Lauren Bober. Yeah. They're like, holy shit. You well, are like what's the fun about her is that, you know, she is a wild woman. Like her yeah. husband and her used to get in brawls. The cops would come. Which, I mean, dude. You know. Honestly, the Colorado blood in me. Oh, yeah. Understands voting for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want someone who's going to defend your state, yeah. the way she defends her car from her husband with a bat. Yeah. yeah. I like someone where it's like, oh, you really are like a Rihanna song. And what's your funny, whole- yeah, <laughs> the whole thing is, <laughs> whole- what's funny about her is like, you know, she had no interest in politics. She was working at a bar. 
some bar called Shooters or something. She that was around. her bar. It was her bar. She owned the bar. Yeah. And it, she was like, this is what I'm about. And then somehow she became a congresswoman. I honestly, I get it. Yeah. Because 13-year-old me. Yeah. If I'm making up a woman to jerk off to. That's it. I'm watching all these action movies. I'm like, she's got a Laura, Lauren Croft. Right. A Tomb Raider gun on her leg. Yeah. She's just, you know. Not taking shit. She'll right. fight right by your side. Right. And then you find out she's just fast and loose. Out she's of She's fucking in the theater. Which, by the way, I would have much rather... My mom made me go to Joseph and the tech, Amazing Technicolor yeah. Dreamcoat yeah. in that theater yeah. when I was, like, 11. Right. I, if I would have been there, yeah. I would have been like, I'm a, I'm a theater, I'm a theater nerd. Oh yeah, no, uh, if you would watch Lauren Boebert jerk someone off yeah. during fucking <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, you would have been like, we're never not going like, to the theater. I love the arts, right? right I love the arts. Right. More funding for the arts. No, I mean that's that's amazing that she did that. Get up the TMZ where she responds to it because they did catch her. Yeah, yeah. And what I like about her is she's just kind of like, hey, now the guy that she's fucking owned like a gay bar. He owned a bar where they had bar drag where they shows. had drag nights. He's a he's a Democrat. Rat. Yeah. And I love that she's like, wow, fuck. She had such a... But it's also people that are surprised about it. She's like, no, 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 I'm a whore. Yeah, I don't care it, who... The, I'll sleep with anyone. It doesn't matter. You could have been Al-Qaeda. I would have yeah. sucked them off in the back. Right. So here here we go. This is Lauren Bober. Thanks for me. I know it's, you know, been a rough week. Or has it been? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's always hard whenever... Um, there's gravity put on the voters. I'm here to provide levity and lift burdens off of people. So Hold on, pause this already. Hey, She's already got hot... <laughs> She's already got hot girl giving a book report. She's in front of the class. Because you know she wants to walk up and go like, shit happens. Guy had a hog. <laughs> With that shoulder showing and that Colorado hat that she yeah. looks like she bought at DIA. She's not a bad looking woman. She's hot. She's hot. And she probably walked across the street being like, Ah, you suck some, you fuck some, and yeah. you lose some. Right, <laughs> but see, now she's got to, like, run that back. It's yeah. very interesting. The gravity. She might and, as well yeah. have given tent fingers. She's like, the gravity of the situation. <laughs> this is like when my parents would be like, hey, there was $100 on the mantle. It's not there anymore. I'd be, I'd be really high. I'd be like... Well, you know, uh, the spatial relationship between <laughs> objects and... Uh, honestly, with inflation and everything going on right now, I think we can understand. You know, Let's... big banks do way worse. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see this. Lauren Boebert. What has it been? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's always hard whenever um, there's gravity put on the voters. I'm here to provide levity and lift burdens off of people. So anytime that they're carrying mine, it's something that... You know, kind of feel deep inside, but ultimately all future date nights have been canceled, and um, I learned to check party affiliations uh, before mm. you go on a date. Uh, but all in all, um, you know, it was, uh, it was mostly a lovely time, and you know, I've taken responsibility for my actions. Uh, would love to know how the, the musical ended, and I encourage people to go and see it, but um, yeah, it, it was a great time back in the district seeing voters, and uh, so how, how are the voters taking it? How are the voters taking it right now? Are they understanding at this moment? Yeah, there's a lot of folks who are certainly understanding, um, and they understand that it was a part of my They understand my it was hot life. as shit. <laughs> the really there's a lot of people jerking off to this right and, now uh, all over the world. There's, You know yeah. what's surprising is our response to Sarah Palin yeah. was an immediate porn parody right. starring Lisa Ann. It right. was almost immediate. Right. It's incredible yeah. that there is already not a porn parody called, like, Congresswoman in the theater. It's it's. It, I would say that it's if it's not already there, it's in the works. Yeah, it, they're filming <laughs> absolutely it. in the works. Yeah, in the valley, there's a studio converted into a fake theater. Right yeah, now. it's just if you're if you're not doing that, it's wasted time. What do you do? They give you this. It's wasted time. I mean, she is. That's a, what's going to bring the world together is more porn parodies yes, of politics. Of, of politics. I want the Hunter Biden <laughs> crack whore fuck. <laughs> Oh, parody. Me. I want the Lauren Boebert yeah, theater one. Theater dick parody. I want uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and a CrossFit 
Yeah. You know those like muscle porns? Yeah, where it's like, she's, like a, she's like a CrossFit mom. Yeah, and it's just like a, a super jack guy on steroids. Well, this is like Colorado, being from Colorado, you know it's like a little wild, and the people that live there like to feel it's a little wild, so this kind of fits into what people do. It's exactly what it is. That's right. It's, it is It is mini malls built on stolen land. That's right. And it's, it's you're only three generations removed. 